Our area's latest food trailer park is now open. This is a live look from the Midway Food Park. Right now, two trailers are open, but many more are expected. This park located in West Austin, just outside the Westlake Hills city limits, but there are no other trailer parks nearby, and the owners are hoping to fill a culinary void. Honestly, we don't go very many places that aren't kid-friendly. Katie Doring and her family there you go, buddy. are some of the first customers to visit the Midway Food Park. We're driving by here constantly. Thank you. Thanks. Drinking it all in, carousel horses on the signs and in the trees on land where Sarah Hannon's horses used to roam. I just really did want to bring a little bit of the funkiness of Austin out to Westlake so that our kids and the community out here could experience it too. Hannon and her husband lived in Austin but wanted to move back to Westlake as their kids entered school. She's transformed a plot of her family's land into a family-friendly foodie hotspot near Westlake Hills. I don't know whether it's because people have a hard time in the real estate keeping their businesses or their restaurants running, but there's a lot of failed restaurants out here. This way they can get like good cuisine and it can always be rotating and changing and and, you know, have just have a good time. Being a mobile trailer gives us the uh, freedom to kind of create whatever we want, as well as, you know, hopefully being very upscale and gourmet with the food that we make. South Austin food trailer Dock and Roll is one of the first to open up at the Midway. Chef Lee Krasner grew up in the Westlake Hills area and uh, wanted to bring his business back. We just hope to stay here forever, basically. I mean, now that we're back in Westlake, we hope we don't have to leave anytime soon. They won't have to, as long as if customers like Katie Doring keep coming back. I like the location. I like the trees. I, um, it's, it's gorgeous right here. There's nothing else like it. And Hannon has some big plans for the Midway. She hopes to build a stage for live music and have some movie nights out on the lawn. And it also says the trailers will stay open late after Westlake High School home football games. We want to know why a food trailer park could not open inside the Westlake Hill city limits. Well, city planner Davin Philpot tells KXAN they simply do not have a permit for food trailers. Philpot says the only way to change that would be to change city ordinances. The Westlake Hills location is one of many trailer parks opening outside of Austin in the past few years. In fact, Cedar Park is planning on opening one by next spring. The Wilco Food Trailer Park opened in Round Rock in 2012. The family-friendly location often shows outdoor movies, encouraging people to bring their blankets and settle down out there for a while. Pflugerville has what is happily named the food ranch just this past year they expanded that from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and right now they have three trailers there hall of flame barbecue of pflugerville gringos and hay cupcake